Hi there! You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you like to be as busy as a bee with lots of activities? Or are you someone who likes to slow down and do quiet things? Well, meet busy Ms. Lizzie. She is the busiest buzz around bee ever. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see why Ms. Lizzie is so busy. Busy Ms. Lizzie by David Shannon. Busy Ms. Lizzie was just about the busiest, buzziest bee anyone had ever seen. Like most little bees her age, Lizzie went to school. She always got straight B's on her report card. That's better than straight A's if you're in B school. Lizzie did lots of things besides school too. She took dance lessons, acting lessons, art lessons, and music lessons. She also played B-League baseball. And she was a member of the Junior Honey Scouts. Everyone asked, why so busy, Ms. Lizzie? Because someday I want to meet the queen, Lizzie answered. And when she asks me if I'm the best bee I can be, I'll say, yes, ma'am, I am. Of course, Lizzie had lots of friends. Busy Ms. Lizzie's best friend was Lazy Ms. Daisy. Daisy was just the opposite of Lizzie. She liked to go to the garden and lie down in a big flower. It smells wonderful, she told Lizzie. Do you want to come with me? I'm too busy for that, Lizzie always said. Lizzie's other friends were quite busy and buzzy though. Some of them did some things with her. Others did other things with her. But busy Ms. Lizzie did everything. The only bee that was maybe even busier than Lizzie was her mom. One day, everyone in Hive Town was buzzing with some exciting news. There was going to be a big spelling contest. The busiest, buzziest little bees were going to compete and the winner would get to meet the queen. The three lucky bees chosen for the contest were Newsy Susie, who knew pretty much everything about everything. Zack Zack Pat on the back, who never ever got in trouble. And Busy Miss Lizzie. Lizzie was so thrilled, she just about buzzed herself silly. This is my big chance, she shouted. Lizzie studied so hard for the spelling contest that she barely got any sleep. I'm worried about you, said her mom. You need to rest. Daisy agreed. Why don't you take a day off and go to the garden with me? Lizzie was cranky. I don't see how you can just lie around and do nothing, she said. Well, I like doing nothing, Daisy replied. It's nice to just think about things. And sometimes I read a book or I talk to other bees. Last time I met a very nice old lady who knows lots of stories. You should meet her. I'm too busy, said Lizzie again. 
Tomorrow is the big day. Daisy smiled. Lizzie, you're the most amazing bee I know. I'm sure you'll win. If I can stay awake, joked Lizzie. The next day, the entire colony was at the spelling contest. Everyone buzzed as loud as they could when the queen arrived. Newsy Susie, Zack Zack pat on the back, and Lizzie battled through round after round. But then Susie forgot a Z in razzmatazz, and Zack Zack was fooled by bamboozle. All Lizzie had to do was spell quizzical, and she would win. She closed her eyes to think, and then it happened. She woke up shouting, Q, U, I, Z, Z, I, C, A, L. Her mom and Daisy were next to her bed. I have to get back to the contest, Lily cried. I have to meet the queen. That was three days ago, said Lizzie's mom. The doctor says nothing but rest for you now. I'm so sorry. I should have said that a long time ago. Well, said Lizzie, trying not to cry. At least now I can go to the garden with Daisy. Good idea, said Lizzie's mom. It's so beautiful, Lizzie gasped as they lay back in a flower. But she was still thinking about the contest. Maybe I should go home and study my spelling though for next year. Who thinks about spelling in the middle of a garden? said a strange voice. Lizzie looked up and saw an old bee smiling at her. Daisy shouted, that's my friend I told you about. Lizzie thought the old bee looked familiar. Then she realized, y you're the queen, she exclaimed. You are, mumbled Daisy. What happened to your big hair? The queen laughed. Oh, I wear my wig so they have something to put that silly crown on. But aren't you too busy to be here? Lizzie asked. I'm busy doing nothing, answered the queen. It helps me be the best bee I can be. Lizzie knew exactly what the queen meant. If I wasn't so tired, I would have won the spelling contest. <sighs> she sighed. Yep, said the queen, but then you probably wouldn't be here. And aren't you happy right now? Lizzie thought for a second. There she was in the beautiful garden with her best friend and the queen. Yes, ma'am, I am, she replied. And that's how busy Ms. Lizzie learned to stop and smell the flowers, which, when you think about it, is exactly what bees are supposed to do. Bears wondering, do you think there is such a thing as being too busy? Was busy Ms. Lizzie too busy? <laughs> Lots of yeses, Bear. Well, Bear says he's glad Lizzie found out that she's happy slowing down to do the little things Daisy and the Queen do, like reading books and thinking, talking to friends, or just stopping to smell the flowers in the garden. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in slowing down. Bye for now. Please subscribe.